How friends, welcome back to the channel. Bob here. Uh, we another taming video today, and this video is going to be a bit. It's got a bit more, a bit more about it. I think <laughs> a bit more substance, a bit more maths and uh, logic. Uh, I've been. Te I, had, I had a chat with um, uh, Mac, who is I think one of the highest level players in the game. He's also got a um, a, a tamer, and I was uh, chatting to him about. Um, Taming the high level stuff, and it seems as though it seems as though um, specialization makes it well, for me, it's made a huge difference to taming chance basically. And I've got some numbers, I kind of I haven't really moved my tame creature at all from a skill point of view, it's still 120, but I took the taming specialization up to 90. Now, I've got some, some, some of the what I did initially was I took taming specialization up to 85, I think it was. So 120 tame, 85 specialization, and I was, and it took the it took the destroyers, level mobs. Um, I'll show you which ones that I've been taming, or what I've been trying to tame. Is the uh, Razorback destroyer here? Um, he was well, before I did specialization. He was less than one percent, whatever that means. Um, and going from yeah 120 85 specialization, it was two percent, and then going from 120 90 specialization, which is what I'm currently at. It's um, uh, it's four percent once you get. I think I have to I have to get in quite low. I think it's like a, maybe a, th a third to a quarter um, to get to get that sort of uh, get that sort of level. Um, yeah, and and so this is what I like. <laughs> this is what I enjoy. It's the applying theory, logic, and you know numbers and that kind of thing to come out with a, a better result. And that's essentially what. Um, what I've done now there are um, I've also been killing these destroyers because they drop stuff basically they drop taming equipment um, so I got this which as you can see had some taming buffs add some taming taming buffs um, I got the gloves um, and I got a belt and a ring and a belt now I was I was kind of hoping that what I was kind of hoping that what this stuff would do is um, increase my taming percentage chance, and like, like, like Mac kind of suggested that, that, it, that it did. But I have to say that I've I've tamed wearing not wearing any of this, and I've kind of put bits on one at a time, and it doesn't seem to have made any difference. Maybe I've missed something. I thought the gloves would work because it's got plus twenty percent taming specialization bonus. Seeing it, seeing as it was the specialization that was um, that was working for me, you know, that, that allowed me to tame the creatures, then I assume that that's what, um, yeah, I assume that 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 would work, but it hasn't. Uh, what well, it doesn't seem to have done, but we're going to have another go here. So I've already tamed a destroyer, um, which I think I can prove that to you. Yeah, tusks my Razorback destroyer, uh, and I'll show you how I did it. Um, again, you know, talking to Mac and testing things out myself. Um, it's tricky, you know. It's tricky. Um, I'm kind of looking for the. I don't know, I'm not, it's not particularly like a, a speed point of view. I'm looking for the most efficient way of doing it. Um, and what I've generally been starting off with, we've sent him, send him a bear in um, to build up some aggro. Then I, the problem, the problem, the problem is at the moment with the bear is that the bear does not. Um, th th these these destroyer mobs have got huge regeneration, so. Uh, my bear basically cannot do enough damage to it to to you know to override the gener regeneration. So the, the destroyer just essentially sits on full full mana, for full full life, full health, I should say. Um, and I've tried I've tried a few different ways of, of, of working this. Um, the last when I actually tamed the mob, basically what I did was I kind of let the bear build up some taunt to it. You know, build up some aggro, and I stuck a, a ring of fire down, and my, and my bear kind of held held aggro pretty pretty well actually, up until about less than half the mob less than half the mob's health, um, before he started chasing me. But then obviously he started chasing me, and from there, yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a different game. One of the tactics that we spoke about was you uh, something that he he's tried is using Kartic feedback and fill up. Fill up the 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 free slot with um, all of your tames, and then um, 
you know glyphs that don't take any focus cost so you don't lose any health basically i've kind of i, I kind of i've tried that I'll give it another go, but I'm not, I'm not 100% sure it, it, it convinced. I'm not, it doesn't see, it doesn't work when obviously when the mobs fight, when the mobs got aggro on you. So the issue here is that you kind of need a you need a pet that can um, you basically need a pet that can solo the health of the you know to a certain extent do a lot of damage itself to 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 to, to knock the knock the mob down because if because it you know. Um, Sticking quite your feedback on while you've you got aggro and you're running around trying to tame and you have to you get, I'm gonna have to be healing. That's basically I'm just not, you know, I'm not high enough level. It doesn't seem to not take a lot of damage when I do get hit. So yeah, it's just a case of, um, yeah, being careful <laughs> with, with, with the kind of feedback. But it, I think for, for taming stuff where your pet can, um, yeah, can basically pretty much solo the. Them. As you can see, the destroyer's health has just not gone down. Um, but what I've what I've noticed is that a ring of fire is enough to, for me, it's enough to keep the keep the uh, yeah keep the keep the the razor back ticking down basically. Um, and I just keep hitting my pet when I need to. This is obviously an aggro thing then. So then it seems though eventually I'm going to get aggro. Um, a lot of the equipment I've got. There's some of the equipment I've got actually has taunt power. So. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm assuming that helps a lot from a pet, but um, yeah, it's just just with these pets, just the regeneration is so high um, that I've I found that invariably I've had to do a port. A, I, I've had to do most of the damage, um, and eventually the, the you know the the mob does aggro on me, um, which then but then means using because cast feedback also means that you cast spells quicker, so the taming. Um, T the time it takes to tame a creature is signif significantly reduced using Celtic feedback. Um, yeah, but but it's but it's an aggro thing, you know. Once you've got aggro, if if, if you know if I can, um, my kind of plan is to get probably three Razorbacks and then use them to tame some of the other creatures, some of the other you know destroyer type creatures and the higher level ones. So um, yeah, maybe. Maybe he will be able to do enough damage to a, to a creature to, um, uh, yeah, to to keep the health down. You know, to 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 actually knock the health down himself. Maybe not. Maybe it's not possible. And you have to do a certain amount yourself. Um, yeah, this is in South Drakvold Spur actually. And I'm going to be doing a video or two actually on the region itself because it's a beautiful region. It's interesting. It's got some quests to do. This is this is this is kind of what you want from a scene. Um, uh, you know, I know, I know, you know, you know. I mean, if you, if you watched any of my Australian Avatar videos, you know I've been critical of um, just the the the, the way that essentially the waste of space that many scenes are. They've just been left, you know, no work been done on them. But credit where credit's due, South Drakvold Spur is great, and I'll do a video video on that. So yeah, so it's just <laughs> basically it's just a matter of um, of wearing the mob down essentially. Um, if the what I think the gloves the gloves give me a minus five. Um, is it the gloves? No, bell gives me a minus five adventure level. But for, for actually taming a creature, it doesn't. You know, if it's not going to add anything to my chance, I'm just going to um, not wear the gloves basically because I'll do much better with that. With you know, <laughs> with that extra five adventure level. But yeah, I mean, I've been um, like the taming and working out best decks and theory crafting and talking about it to, to other people with other people. You know, yeah, it's been really interesting. Uh, yeah, but but I, I just for, but for, for the the taming equipment that I've I had dropped and the taming artifact hasn't for whatever reason hasn't helped my um, my taming chance. So the maximum I can get with a ball at the moment with with Razorback here is four percent, um, and that was enough just a little while ago actually for me to tame one. I've got um at the moment I've got like a little store of ferocious bear patriarchs. <laughs> they're kind of my they're my tanks at the moment. Um, yeah, they're the ones taking on the chin. What, what what we also I also what we also spoke about and I I have, can confirm it is that you can overwrite a pet. 
um, assuming that the tech ne necklace isn't locked. So even with my bear out, if I successfully tame the the uh, the Razorback, it will overwrite the bear, basically, um, which is good news. It just makes things, you know, just a tactic thing. It just makes things easier. Trying to, uh, but yeah, trying to balance the the, the aggro is the thing. Um, but you do need to do some damage really to uh, to have any chance well you have to do damage you know this particular pet maybe maybe there's a, a, a dps pet i'm not sure if the wolves are dps maybe i should try and go and get a couple of the wolves next to destroy wolves maybe they do more damage um but the bear particularly great great tank it seems you know but um not much else <laughs> not much dps not uh not against the, these uh these guys anyway um Taming specialization is quite weird in general. The only, like I, including all the, my ferocious bear patriarch without specialization um, had about 900 hit points. Um, went 950 roughly. When I take in specialization to 90, that increased his hit points by about five or 600. Um, and then adding all the equipment that I've, all the taming equipment that I've recently picked up. Um, yeah, that's 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 increased it to almost two thousand hit points. My um, my bear here has got, which is uh, which is pretty awesome. My ring of fire didn't last very long there, unless it's unless they've knocked, they've been knocked out of the way of it. Um, yeah, but it's difficult to tell with other st uh, aside from hit points. It's difficult to tell. Um, oops, not me. It's difficult to tell what effect specialization is having really apart well apart from the hit points and the taming chance because they're numbers that you can see i'm assuming it's helping with with taunting um it doesn't it hasn't it it doesn't seem to help with the focus cost um of the pet the the, the uh, combat pet focus drain i've noticed um yeah when i've um uh, as, uh, as my specialization points were going up the focus cost wasn't going down it was staying the same so it doesn't seem to have had any effect with that which is um uh, which i was kind of expecting it to but i'm hoping it's affecting damage and um you know the defenses of my of my teams and stuff going quite well so far almost kind of on the razorback's not under a dot at the moment so i need to do that again um doing okay almost at half Um, the pet healing seems super crazy. I mean, I generally heal for like five or six hundred hit points, which is um, um, whoops, has he turned on me? No, I don't think so. Which, which is odd, you know. It's, it's a lot more powerful than the, the uh, heal, you know, the uh, life healing line. But then saying that, I think that if you if they if they lowered it too much, like, that's obviously with specialization. So. That's another number that I noticed got a lot better with specialization. So I guess, you know, I'm having to invest a lot of experience into it and specialization. Um, but I think if they were going to lower it, you would need to then increase the damage mitigation for the pets, I think, because they can, you can get, if you're fighting, you know, if you're putting your, your pet against a, another fairly tough creature, your damage can get a bit spiky. So, uh, how are we looking? Still less than 1%. And although he's not quite half yet, let's just test it at half, see what that does. Let's move around here. Okay. So still less than one percent at half. I think I was watching, watching some chat about taming, and uh, someone was they were talking about. I think it really depends on difficulty with the creature. Really, I think I'm not sure if if your adventure level of exit in any way. Still less than one percent, but um, yeah, like the bear patriarchs when, when it like my, my pets when I was taming them just now, 
Um, once they get to half, I've got like a 50% chance, so that's obviously much higher. But I think with, with, with these mobs, um, I think I'm just about squeezing in, really, with, with the taming chance. I think it's... Um, I think it's just about, I'm just about, you know, squeezing out of the uh, less than 1% chart, less than 1% um, thing, which is fine. So, um, th my pet seems to be doing better on the aggro at the moment. Um, I think by now, the last one would have, would have attacked. But I, but I have, I wasn't wearing all the equipment, you see, I have just... Um, I have just added the equipment, add, added the last bit of equipment, which increases the, my tame level again. So, so that's probably uh, that's probably why. Still less than one percent. We'll look at the range. We'll keep an eye on it, so we can look at the range. Um, where are we? Eleven. Not quite. A th Third. We'll look at it when he's at a third, so roughly around ten, around ten thousand. We'll check it out. Nope, not quite. Still not quite a third. Just wait to ten thousand, Bob, for God's sake. Uh, I've recently picked up a new mouse. My um, my Logitech MX. I think it's MX five one eight, which is like you know the classic, one of the classics. And okay, so at a third, I get a two percent chance. And my my pet is still holding holding aggro, so this makes it much easier. Okay, I think I need to keep the damage on though, because it will just regenerate back up again. Yeah, I've, I've recently picked I've just picked up a Corsair Corsair Scimitar Pro, which is an MMO mouse, uh, and actually I've only just started using it today. Um, and I like it just as a mouse in general. Um, it feels feels quite nice. Let's try again. So. It's, Two, still two percent, um, but it's got it's got twelve buttons on the side, and um, I have to say it's made my MMO Shroud the Avatar life much better. Um, yeah, it's uh, take a little bit of getting used to. My hand kind of feels like it, it kind of dwarfs the mouse. It's not huge, not as big as my Logitech. It doesn't feel anyway. Um, I was right to three percent. Yeah, but but it's but having those twelve buttons on the side. I don't use all of them, but like I can just hold right mouse button, move around, and, and use any of my spells. Basically, it's really nice. <laughs> Still three percent. We're gonna have to another cast another. Uh, looks like it. Yeah, three percent is a small chance. Let's let's be fair. Um, but. If I can get to a point where I can do this, you know, where I can, um, oh, pet nearly died. If I can get to a point where I can do this, you know, where I can just, um, just keep, keep attempting the, the tame. Seeing as my pet now seems to be doing pretty well on the aggro front, um, maybe I can heal into full, uh, <laughs> And then we can put on, maybe put chaotic feedback on and try for some quick tames. Let's see. Let's give it a go. Let's get my pet up to full. Chaotic feedback. Then you can see how it works with the um, with the taming skill. Just basically increases the uh, increases the speed of the tame. So as you can see, yeah, it's much much quicker. Ah, oh, I did it! I think it worked. You tamed a creature. Aha, there we go. Okay, so um, let's have a look. There he is. Razorback Destroyer. Two nearly three thousand two seven five five hit points. Um I haven't used him against anything yet. Um I love the way it looks. Uh, and I like the way that it stays the same as the tame, whereas with the with the I think it was a ferocious wolf. Uh, Arctic wolf, you know, that 
kind of changed it, changed the way it looked. It wasn't white, so that was disappointing. But yeah, we've tamed a Razorback Destroyer. Um, and that's awesome. There is, that's my second one. So I think I'll probably do another one with a bear. And then what I'll do in the next video is I'll use the Razorback Destroyer to help tame another creature. Because I think, again, I'm hoping again that this will hold aggro better than the, my bear, basically. But um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm just at the limit. I'm just squeezing in. But the but the, certainly the taming equipment hasn't helped my chance. So I can, at the moment, for the Razorback Destroyer anyway, I can get a maximum of 4% chance with 120 tame skill and 90 um, specialization and what I might test next is I might take the tame skill up to 125 um, and see if that improves my chance that'd be interesting to see anyway guys yeah thanks for watching this has been another video all the information I've got here is correct I believe um, just to show you where I am on the map south track Volspur and it's the north north corner the uh, small forested area and there are quite a lot of these Razorback Destroyers sitting around so yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and I'll speak to you again soon